All right, everyone, right here, we our exciting day, even though it was extremely slow garage sale-wise. This is Memorial Day weekend. My videos might be a little out of sorts here, out of sync, but hey, I'm putting videos up, putting them out so you can see what I find and what I sell. And I hope to inspire each and every one of you to do better, to find things and make money because you can make it on Amazon and eBay, both of them. Um, so you just got to keep grinding, keep grinding people. I'll be your biggest cheerleader. So anyhow, let's take a look at what we got. We, um, basically we went back to savers and thought, Hey, maybe they're going to put some more books out. Lo and behold, out came another cart. And I took, uh, took the top three, four racks, put them in two baskets. I was prepared again. I was ready. I said, Hey, these guys are in book mode. So they were, and I started scanning came up with 39 more books. I also bought an amplifier, I'll show you that. And every, all of that came to $100. The amplifier was not much, so about 90, 90-ish for the books, uh, for 39 books, 39 books. So we're right around that $2 mark uh, on the books, but we got some really good ones this time. I'm gonna show you a couple. I'm gonna show you one really special book that I think is gonna be worth a little bit more money. All right, all right. so we're gonna flash across some of these uh, totals. You'll see, I'll just show you a few books because it's interesting to see what you can get for books, right? I, I really want you to see that, you know, a title and you say, what, how much you get for that book? You know, that kind of thing, right? I can't remember the prices on some of these, but they're all very, very high. Is I, as, uh, This one here, look at this. This is like the second one I found. I just shipped one of these. So when I saw it, I go, that's like picking up a $50 bill. It's worth net 56. Now, for some reason, what's weird about this, I have to ship this in a, a poly bag to Amazon. I have no idea. I think they think it's insecticide somehow. I, I, I don't know. But anyhow, look at the look at the comp on that. 56. It's going to sell fast. All right. I'm going to sneeze every time I come outside. Ah. Woo. All right. Electrical, uh, electricity, electronics, HVAC. This is a really standard kind of book you're looking for. Educational books, that kind of thing. This one has a comp of, I think, about 70-some dollars. This one, I think there's only five on the East course. This will take a little bit to sell, but it's still going to get me some good money. So good money right there. So right there, those two books. If you take a look, say those two books sold. My money is back on everything I got on the books and the amplifier. So really, really can't emphasize how books can be very, very lucrative on eBay. All right. Up next is uh, Gung Ho. This is another very interesting title, How to Draw Fantastic Military Comics. I love books like this. I, um, one thing about being a, a book guy, too, is you get to find some books that fit that, that you like. Now, I, I would love to be a painter, so I collect some painting books, you know, and I love Impressionist. I love Monet. Um, just, he's my favorite. I saw him at the, uh, in the San Francisco, and I, I stayed for hours. It was just absolutely stunning. Unless, you, if you have not seen Monet in person, it's just, you just, you can't describe it. But anyhow, so I collect art books, and I keep a little a few of them that help me. I, my inspiration to be a painter someday, you know. I dabble with it. I'm not very good at it, but I would love to someday really learn how to do color theory and all that. But so this interests me, Gung Ho, How to Draw Fantastic Military Comics, and uh, Manga, How to Draw Manga, those books, they all do pretty well, all of them. All right, now this is another, you can see how this, this attracts me, this is very cool. This is Cosmic Motors, Spaceship, Cars, Pilots, and of Another Galaxy. This is by um, Daniel Simon. I'm going to open it up and kind of show you. I got to be careful because it's very kind of a fragile kind of book for some reason. But I'll try to show you what, what's, um, what's in it. You know, stuff like that. Look at that. Very, very cool drawings. This guy's, this is talent, people. When you see people like this, look at this. Look at that. That is amazing, talented people. Uh, look at this. is cool. Just very, 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 let me pull it over more, it's right there. All right, let's look at one more, see if we can find something. Look at this, spaceship type stuff, right? I mean, amazing, amazing stuff. 
So you see what they're what the prices are net wise, but isn't that just crazy? Good stuff, good stuff. You can feel feel the excitement. I hope I always try to have some excitement. Um, I see stuff like this, and it just it gets me going, right? It gets me going. Even though I didn't find a whole lot of stuff today, as far as physical besides the books, the books are just I love the books. They're great. Um, you know the flea market. I didn't go to. Uh, I went to. Uh, a Goodwill and then to Savers and then I went to uh, one garage sale and got one item that's it I mean there was a block sale of 10 houses that I went to zero nothing you know so it happens and it and it seems to be happening more but you know what? I'm still grinding you've just got to keep grinding keep grinding keep listing keep trying to find the really good quality stuff like these books you know the second source of income and and I'm flowing flowing into that so you know, I'm, I'm way happy. You just cannot, you know, you can't, I don't know how to say it. You know, you just got to keep grinding people. And I, and I just, I want you all to feel it. I want you all to understand that, yes, you can do this. You really, really can just keep doing it. Keep that, put, keep that foot on the gas pedal. All right. All right. Now we're going to show you the piece de resistance of the books, as they say. All right. Every Bible at Savers pretty much is $7.99, okay? Here's a Bible. Take a look at this thing. Look at that, okay? Really cool. I mean, it's got some damage here, but when you find out how old this Bible is, you're gonna understand. All right, I don't know if I can open it up, but anyhow, it's very, very old. It is from 1755, there you go. It's an inscription from 1951 to somebody, but the Bible is from 1755. And the way you can tell, I'm gonna try and hold it for you, is by the Roman numerals down here. The Roman numerals will tell you. And in the column below it, she wrote 1755. 1755, so careful. You can hear it cracking. You can hear it, you can hear it cracking. This will be an auction on eBay. We'll try an auction here. We'll see what we can get. Similar one sold for about two twenty five. Okay, you never know with these. You don't know if you're going to get two twenty five or four twenty five. So we're going to put this Bible up um, and see what goes. See what happens. All right. Um, I don't know. Some people don't like to sell Bibles, uh, but hey, there's Christian bookstores. They sell Bibles, right? So that's the way I look at it. I only sell Bibles that I think are cool, meaning that they are unique that this is a unique bible um i don't those don't sell too many bread and butter ones but i do sell the more unique ones um that people would be looking for and they're out of print so that's the other thing people say hey you know um you shouldn't sell bibles well let's say that we have a really rare like rainbow bible or whatever they call it you know you can't find it anymore and somebody wants it well that's that's the marketplace right so that person wants the bible you're holding it you don't have any use for it at this time you know i don't collect bible so you know i i don't mind selling them because people need them and and it goes to that person they really want that bible so i have no problem selling them all right put that down i gotta lift this guy every time i lift one of these i think i'm gonna die they're so heavy all right a big old another one you see me do it every time right guys Pioneer. I have to put it down. Sorry. That's a... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, geez. Sorry. I laugh at myself. All right. That Pioneer that weighs 35, 40 pounds. Just lifting right there. Pioneer tested it in the, in the store best I could. It's going to go for around $300. Okay. It paid $19.95 minus, minus the 20%. So, the best you can do is test it. It looks like it works. All I gotta do, on what I love about these is you just kind of hook a couple speakers up to the back, power up and go through some functions and you're pretty much done. So it's not that hard to test that. That's another thing, right? You've probably seen my golf club video and how I think people are afraid of golf clubs because of the, how to ship them. They don't have much knowledge about them. This is worse. You know, these are harder to ship. These things are, these are tricky. But there's good money in these too and you just got to find the right one and you'll be amazed how much you've seen and how much i get amplifier wise right i get them all the time i even put one back because i was like i'm starting to get picky on those okay i'm starting to thin those out a little bit all right we're gonna look at one more item here then we'll look at a few sold items too 
All right. Now, I've been looking for these lately, okay? Um, these are cool. I remember as a kid, we had these and we had macrame hangers. How many, how many people remember macrame plant hangers? Those were those were the things in the 70s, right? Well, take a look at this. Swag, huh? I call it mid-century modern, whatever. And it's got the gold chain. You all seen that stuff. $5 at a garage sale. Five bucks. This thing will probably get me any... It's, it's a crapshoot. Anywhere between $100 and $200. That's probably where this thing's going to go. Shipping might be a little tricky. But again, cool swag lamps. Take, take a look sometime and uh, put in swag lamp. Do highest. You'll get a kick. It's like every category. All, what I, way I do it with every category is I, I find the item, so swag lamp. Then I kind of just do a sold. And then I switch it to highest. And then you can have a laugh because you never know when your lamp's going to show up on the highest, right? Or, or your item. But it also gives you a great idea to, hey, I better start looking in this category because there's some good things in this category. In swag lamps, there is some very, very cool looking lamps, all right? And people are looking for that stuff now. They call it mid-century modern, and it's really hot, all right? So keep your eye out for that. All right. Uh, let me switch down and get my book. And let's open my book up for what sold. All right. Now, as far as... um. What's sold? I'm doing sales, okay? And I'm doing fine. And there's been a slowdown, obviously. It's been, you can feel it out there. It's a little bit slow. Uh, but I'm still doing, you know, doing well for myself. So I'm gonna try and show you, I, I wanna show you a flavor of kind of several things. I just don't wanna sit there and go, you know what? Let's show them all $400 items. You know, I don't know. That, that's not reality to me. Reality to me is, is kind of what I'm going to show you here. This is a, a mixture of where I'm at. My average selling price is around $70 per item if you look at my, my totals and if you've watched some of my videos. But I do have a lot of, and, and that's probably going to drop a little bit due to the fact that I've got a lot of books that, you know, I've been selling for the $15, $25 range. So that probably will drop a little bit, but I don't care. Hey, as long as my, my main numbers keep going up, it doesn't matter to me. But I'm going to show you these five items all right it'll come across as usual all right first up is a needlepoint um package i picked these up at the uh goodwill and i paid 2.98 as i remember for each one and um i sold a lot of them for like 150 and then now i'm selling the more expensive ones this one i will say expensive i did sell one for about 40 this one here sold for 25.46 and free shipping so uh if you can find lots of stuff like this, this is where you can really, really make some money. And I think I'm going to sell almost all these. I don't have many left, probably four or five left. All right, now, this one hurt a little bit, only because it didn't work. Saver's item. And uh, basically, I, I tested it, and it, it gave us an, an F60 air, air message. So they had it priced pretty high. So I went back to the back and I said, look, you guys know me. This is coming up with an F60 Air and you're not gonna sell it. It's just gonna sit out here. Doesn't play a DVD, doesn't play a VHS tape. So you, you, I'll take it, but I'm only gonna take it for like 10 bucks, okay? Because it just, it's not gonna work. Uh, you know, and then it just clogs their, their, their um, uh, shelves up, right? So yeah, so it didn't work and, um, but I was gonna take it for parts. Okay, and I did. I sold it for ninety nine ninety five for parts not working, explaining the F sixty error, and twenty nine ninety five shipping. If it here's the kicker: if it worked, it was three hundred plus, three hundred. This is one of the best ones you can get because it's got a hard drive in it, an HDD hard drive, so it's got a hard drive, and you can write to uh, VHS to disc. So very very cool. And if you've got, if you find one of these with the remote and the manual and everything, it just kind of keeps going up. So you've got to look for these, these particular ones. My eyes lit up when I saw this one and I said, please work. And as soon as I turned it on, no F60 air. All right. But sold it for parts, still made money. All right. I found a Fitbit Versa in one of my book bins. It was used, but I powered it up, had the charger and everything. It worked fine. $40, $11.95 shipping. So the bins just keep 
producing money for me, right? Books and other things. You'll be amazed. Remember, I, I have found trunks inside there and, and some other things. So it's been kind of wild. All right. This was another one. This was a saver's find. I think I paid about $4.99 or $5.99 for this little shorebird. It's a carving. And it was a it had a sign and it was a name, but he wasn't really well known. Was, you keep hoping that it's a real well known guy, but he's there was still value. It was very cool. And I sold it day one. And I took an offer for $79.95 and $29.95 shipping. Um, I didn't want it to stick around, basically. So I was willing to get rid of it very quickly. And $79. Bucks, can't complain, right? All right. We go now back to the CDs. We still keep selling off on that CD, on that CD pile. How about this one? Easy Beats. I couldn't remember who the Easy Beats were, and they had a couple of uh, small hits, you know. And um, this is a four DVD set, four CD set, and we had one extra. It sold for one hundred and twenty dollars for the set, one hundred and twenty bucks for this set. We'll go over it again. Look for these CD box sets, these LP box sets, but mostly these CD box sets. They seem to be really doing well. I'm on the hunt for the. Grateful Dead one. There's a Grateful Dead one out there that's like in a crate. And if you find that one, it's worth about $1,000. All right. All right, guys. Hey, another video. I love it. Good day for me. I love this day. This is a good day. It's a Memorial Day weekend. It's Saturday. I'm going to take Sunday, Monday off. I'm going to just organize, figure out what to do with all my books. It's a good thing to have. Hey, that's a good problem to have, right, guys? So if you're an entrepreneur and you've got money, and this stuff is stuff is happening where you've got more books and stuff coming in. It's money, right? It's going to be great down the road. Don't worry about, you know, I'm not going to worry about pushing this stuff out right away. It might take me a week to get it all out, but I'll get it out and I'll get it in the Amazon system and just let it keep churning. Let it keep churning. All right, guys. Hey, I hope you feel the enthusiasm. You can do this. All right. Biggest cheerleader here is me. Let me know in the comments. Talk to you guys soon.